King has lived in Southwest Crossings, a mostly black and brown neighborhood, for two decades, and she and her neighbors have protested the construction, fearing for their health and safety. Both propane and natural gas are highly flammable and come with risks of leaks, fires and explosions at facilities and pipelines. And their neighborhood, situated in the energy capital of the nation, isn't alone. Evidence shows throughout the U.S. Communities of color are more likely to be burdened by various industry infrastructure, disproportionately jeopardizing the health of black and brown people. Experts say Houston and the Pipeline Project are microcosms of the nation's persistent environmental racism that subjects people of color to hazards. Black people are 75% more likely to live near industrial facilities in fence line communities, according to fumes across the fence line, a 2017 Clean Air Task Force and NAACP report on air pollution from oil and gas facilities. Meanwhile, the Biden administration has taken an unprecedented approach to center environmental justice as part of its agenda to acknowledge how industry, climate and disaster has a disproportionate impact on communities of color. The administration has launched efforts across multiple federal agencies, which includes the Justice 40 initiative that aims to invest 40% of federal climate, housing, clean water and other benefits in historically underserved communities. And last month, the Environmental Protection Agency announced it was awarding $100 million in environmental justice grants to communities overburdened by pollution. And last year, the U.S. Justice Department started an investigation into the city for our illegal dumping of solid waste in black and Hispanic communities. The genesis of environmental justice research was in Houston, said Joan Casey, an environmental epidemiologist at the University of Washington and the Columbia Mailman School of Public Health. Now we're in 2023, we're still having the same conversation. This is the way that we've operated in the United States for a very long time. Natural gas is almost entirely methane gas, which contributes significantly to climate change. Centerpoint told local media the Smell King and her neighbors woke up to around Christmas time was not a leak but a part of normal operations. Still, King fears future accidents. Over a two-decade period, an average of 640 incidents occur each year. Incidents are defined as leaks that result in at least $122,000 in property damage, gas loss of at least 3 million cubic feet, injury, death or emergency shutdown, according to federal regulations, 